Hey y'all, this is Jaslyn back with another video. Here to show you some lovely and grown videos with abiding artistry. So as you can see, we have this lovely and grown mixed with some debris. We're gonna serve it right to you. Um so I am going to be answering a few questions people have been DMing me about. Um, a lot of people have been asking me more specifically about, of course, ingrowns, how to prevent, um, you know, aftercare from any type of hair removal service and, um, you know, so on. So first and foremost, as far as preventing ingrowns, the best thing that you can do is to exfoliate. Now, I'm a super big advocate for dry brushing, specifically with like a natural bristle brush um, and doing that dry before you get in the shower. And I tell all my clients this, you know, um, I, get, I tell them this, basically give them an analogy or whatever and say, you know, when you scratch yourself before you get in the shower, as opposed to when you scratch yourself after you get out the shower, there you could you could see the dead skin as opposed to when you wet yourself and you can't see it. It's almost like, you know, you just have that moisturized effect since you're wet. So I personally have seen substantial um improvements from me dry brushing and thus far. So I tell my clients to do that at least three times a week. Dry no soaps, scrubs, nothing, and um, it's good. The brushes are typically good for three months, cleaning them every other week with um, distilled vinegar and some water. Oh, that's the juicy one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, me and my client was talking, and I just had to like shut up and just marinate in this and this good goodness pulling out that wig but anywho back to the preventing ingrowns um so yeah the dry brushing um what else now i also there are some solutions out there specifically for my clients i recommend the the clarifying toner solution that has like salicylic acid in it so it helps with reducing like redness irritation and um the ingrowns and stuff like that so those typically help now mind you sometimes you will get ingrowns the hair can be too small and uh, not too small but very very dense so it's really weak and it just can't penetrate the skin barrier i mean and okay real quick this is why i tell my clients to do do not use antiperspirant deodorants this client had, I don't know if it was like an open wound at one point, but it just, from her using that deodorant, it packed and packed all that debris from the deodorant and just other debris. And as you can see, it was a big boatload coming out. So that's why I tell my clients, please do not use antiperspirant deodorant. Use non antiperspirant. I know those natural deodorants are not the best for everybody. Um, I hear my clients using Native. I hope I'm saying it right, and they like it. So I mean, just something aluminum free and non antiperspirant because you have to sweat. Your toxins have to be released out of your body. You know, so if not, you're just clogging your pores and making things worse. Um, but back to what I was saying. Goodness. Forgive me, y'all. I have pregnancy brain, and I'm only in the beginning stages, and it hasn't been well. So, okay, ingrowns. That's what we were talking about. So, okay, aftercare for ingrowns. Well, yeah, pretty much the dry brushing, like I was saying. Um, it's only so, like I said, okay, I was talking about the thin, the density of the hair. Okay, so sometimes you can still get ingrowns because of the hair is so weak. It can't penetrate the skin. So things, it can, uh, it can happen. You know, I'm not going to say that it's going to be a hundred percent nothing. I really, I'm, 
you know, I'm not going to be able to tell you that because, like I said, there's instances where it can happen and sometimes... The skin just gonna is gonna do what it's gonna do, but there is ways to reduce it. I personally sugar my clients, um, and sugaring definitely reduces the growth of ingrowns due to the way that it's coming out. Mind you, it's going against the grain, and then I pull with the hair growth direction. Naturally, in our hair growth cycles, it falls out in the way that it's growing. So. If it's being removed out of the way that it, you know, in that same direction, your body or your hair is less likely is less likely to grow back irregular. Not to say that when doing wax it will, but with waxing, you know, it lays with the hair growth direction and then it pulls against. So sometimes there can be breakage and the hair can grow back irregular. Now, I have seen some waxes where, you know, it's getting it from the very root and that's great. But, I mean, the proof is in the pudding as in the way that things are applied. So, with sugar, um, it goes against the grain and then pulling with the hair growth direction. So, it's much better on the skin and doesn't pull out the live skin cells and all of that good stuff. So... And another question I got was talking about discoloration. Um, a lot of the time I have clients that want to overall change the the color of their whole vulva. I don't want to say change, but I want it's like right above the labia area for women, you know, we our vulva is very like hormonal based. So it can be, I mean, if it's highly melanated in certain areas, honestly, it can deal with hormones. Now, when you have like the hyperpigmentation marks and those discoloration marks, then the dry brushing and, you know, the brightening solutions that will help. You have to stop the shaving. Like, and that goes for ingrowns as well. You, if you want that stuff to be like, at a bare minimum, you have to stop shaving. I tell my clients, if you're not able to make it in, hey, come in, um, not come in, but use body grooming clippers. That's another, you know, option. If you're not able to, you know, funds are not right or something, or you just can't make it in, just do the body grooming clippers because the shaving will put you, well, it will set you all the way back. Seriously. So, and then that friction from the shaving, it's causing damage, you know, to the skin. I mean, not the friction, but the cutting, you know, honestly, with the, the blade itself. And with melanin, a lot of the time, it's going up to the skin to repair. So, so my clients, just please throw them razors away. They do you no good. And it just doesn't love you like sugar does. But anywho, I will be coming back with some more videos. Thank you guys for watching and tune in later.